welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be how I see myself currently and what just dawned on me. After awakening, and doing these videos, I am a powerful woman. I am a leader. I am strong-willed. I am quick to defend myself and those I care about. After all, I am a Leo. Mixed with Capricorn, a Leo being the sun sign, the crusp, while the Capricorn is my main. I am a double water sign. And that you can discover from reading your chart. your astral chart, the stars, if you will. My ex tried to tell me that, hmm, what did he try to tell me? Basically, I ignore him in whatever he says. Now, he tried to tell me that Two strong-willed people, two strong-headed minds, cannot be together. He is obviously stupid and dead wrong. I am a leader, I am a light worker, and I am sure people have fallen in love with another leader or another strong-willed person. I think it is a, a positive thing when you are in love with a leader. You may butt heads, however, the universe brought you two together for a reason. To learn from each other, to work things out, etc. However, being that my ex is not a light worker and is the opposite, a cold, heartless person who is only concerned with himself and tried to blame it on, but you never asked me how it was, you never asked me if I made it to work alive, etc. There were a few times I did ask and... Mm, it just, he automatically told me things about his job, so I felt not the need to ask how he was at work, because I can tell already he is unhappy. He calls constantly around people he does not like. He, instead of finding a job he loves, well, actually, he prefers the night shift when no one else is around, he had to get a second shift in the daytime, being around people who, hmm, let's just say he had a person ask him something, and he had to tell her again this answer. And he's like, oh my god, I'm annoyed with you. Why are you seeing me again? Go away. Or this other person who thought she was helping him when he said, do not do this, you are not helping me. He is irritated by the people he works with. He, the, I don't know what his 
why he stayed in that position if it was me i would get out but he preferred well he was for whatever reason even though he was irritated by the people he worked with I don't understand his logic. Why stay in that situation? And since I am an empath, I could feel he was unhappy. It rubbed off into the relationship and why we fought at times. And in the past, he was around, uh, again, around a person he hated. And he, it, the anger, the, the irritation rubbed into the relationship. And I kept telling him, if you cannot stand this person, get out. Instead, he decided to put up with it until one day the person moved out. Yeah, that's uh, New York for you. Crowded, populous. He hates going into the city never again. He's in the suburbs, but it's still crowded over there. It's like Chicago. Sprawling suburbs, too many people. He says he hates crowds and yet he puts up with the traffic. Why? But I, I like living here. And yet you cannot stand the crowds. It makes no sense what you say. You say you love the mechanics and you know people to get good deals, and yet you hate the crowds. But then again, he really do not tell me much about his personal life other than what, other than that. But again, since I see the world in a different standpoint, if it was me, I would move out into the freaking country, rural areas, less people, less populace, I would be happier, less crowns, the better, but again, that is just me versus him who puts up with this thing and said he was fine. No. No, you are not fine. People's auras were affecting you to the point of... It, it was not healthy. It was not good. You ultimately failed to see this. I tried to help you. You were blind. You did not listen to me until... You can see for yourself, but you don't do anything to change. You're still in the same situation. You're still crying about being single, being alone, and yet you attract what you are. You attract the energy you put out. You attracted these calms. I wonder why. Do I get cons on Facebook? No. Well, yes, but only when I first set up my account and only when I put my actual profile, a picture of myself on my account. Then, when I added a person, hundreds came, and then... Non-English speakers were trying to date me and were trying to video call me and most had no profile photos, most accounts were empty, but they weren't cons because they didn't really, I did not accept their request to add me. Did I ever run into these cons in the past? Two times, but it was not on Facebook.
Did I meet Akon on Facebook? Well, I thought he was hacked him, so I blocked him because he um, he randomly changed the subject, and I it felt off, and I blocked the person. Have I ran into other cons trying to date me to get over to the U.S.? No. Unlike him, who has actually ran into that. I wonder why. He was the one to say no more American girls. Then he shot overseas. Did he actually do that? I have no idea, because at that time, we were not talking to each other. And he never really uh, said how, or if he did say how he met this woman, I forgot all details. But I have never met a man who tried to con me into coming over here to the U.S. Never. So, again, it makes me wonder why he was in that position and kept finding these people who kept attracting these people. He fell in love at first sight, only to cross and burn. Why? Why did the relationship fail? There were multiple reasons to it for the past mm, four, four years. Mainly because he failed to support me. He failed to be open. He failed to let me into his heart, and when he did, he got scaled and ran away. We... Like I said, there were multiple reasons why we failed. I have completely changed. I am a leader, and he actually did not like that. He said, Too strong people should not be together. Why else did we butt hands? That's not the reason why we butted hands. Like I said, there were multiple reasons. And I do wonder if he even watches these videos from afar, stalking me. Secretly. I say stalking because he went out of his way without me knowing that he followed my Instagram. Without my knowledge, he found my account without my knowledge, and I said he was talking, he said he was not. And then he was afraid to tell me he was following my account, because I would say he was stalking me that I would say that. And you know what? I would have. Because without my knowledge, that is considered stalking. But since I put this content out, you can't really stalk me on YouTube because I, I put this content out. It's public. Um, but yeah, I, um, I mean, but when you, you yeah, it, it's just, he is on, he claims to be on 5D, and yet it's completely not. He is in the Matrix. He is in, he is a sheep. He lives in the Matrix, but he is okay with that, because it's all around him. Every city on this planet is in the Matrix. There is no escape in it. Because... I say that because... Okay, take... Um, I'm just gonna randomly say something. Okay, take the Highlands, for instance, and Scotland. 
Even in the past, you still lived in the city. You still farmed. You still had a culture. You still had religion. Matrix. I mean, to get out of the matrix, you have to remember the astral, the spirit, the soul, the chakras, the kundalini. Serpent, the sexual energy of what that is, the 5D, the 6D, etc. Deities to break out of the matrix. He said he doesn't need these gods, he does not worship them. I don't worship them either, and yet I still call upon them when I need to. For instance, for protection, for guidance, for love. To not feel alone. He, on the other hand, is not into that. He is a atheist, and yet he said he wasn't an atheist because he knows of this stuff. He put it into a way that I cannot really... But for me, to in layman terms, he's an atheist, and yet he's not an atheist. But for me, being spiritual is linked back to the deities. Find your pantheon, and find the what you connect with, and see where it leads you. For him, the only deity he liked, not really a connection, because he's not really that into it, the only deity he liked was Anubis and Set. The only two that I can remember. But, once again, he did not call upon them, he did not talk to them, he did not see them in dreams. I believe he, well, he did have this one dream, but beyond that, it's not a, a constant theme. He doesn't see them, not like I do. He does not walk with them, is what, I, what I'm trying to say. He does not walk with them, well, as I do. I know I walk among them. I walk with them. I know of them. I go further than him, and that is... He was... He wasn't spiritual because he said, I don't need to meditate anymore. Being spiritual isn't just about meditation. It goes beyond that. But... He is not spiritual, and that is why we argued it was more physical. Because I have a life here, I need to make sure I'm not dead, or not sick. And you're the opposite, you, you don't care about your life, you, you care about the astral more. Your energy, your spiritual vibration, your frequency should be at the core of everything. Without knowing, without being well of your energy, uh, you don't really know yourself to a deeper level. For instance, if you're sick, you will know your energy is lower. If you're sad, same thing. If you're love, you will resonate higher. You will feel more powerful. You will feel more better about yourself, etc. But for him, it just was not there. He was not on that level and yet claimed to be awake. Why am I still ranting about this in multiple videos? Oh <laughs> god. But again, it is just reflection to see how far I have come versus a 
person who was still asleep versus a person who was on a lower level and yet claimed that I was on the lower level when he was higher and wanted me to climb up to his level. I surpassed you. And yet you held me back for years. Why? But you agree to things before you reincarnate into this life. I agreed to have that hell for five years. Four years, sorry. Off and on for four years. Why I have no flippin' idea. Probably because I was trying to teach him something and he was not getting it. Or vice versa. I don't really know. It just shows how much far I have come. How much stronger I am now. I am a leader. I am a light worker. I am love. I am powerful. I am divine. I am magical. And for him, he, he is not magic. He is not divine. He is not love. He is not any of this, and yet claims to be awake. Here's a, he, he, what? I didn't, I, I don't know what you would call him besides a cold, heartless person who only cares about himself, who is in the Matrix, literally at the heart. But then again, New Yorkers believe they are at the center of the universe when they are not. So, I assume the environment that he is around is affecting him in ways he cannot see, but I can, and know that these people, his suburb, the city around him, has entrapped him into this mind state that is dumb, that is on a lower frequency that is still 3D. He wants to be stuck in 3D. He even said it. Why care about the fourth dimension? Why care about the five dimension? You're not on this. You're not on the astral. Why care? Because we are energy. We are spirit in a walking body. I do not know how else to describe that. We need to unwrap ourselves to find the gift within to know our soul again. Where we came from before we reincarnated, that is who we are. Where we came from is very important to know our mission, why we are here. He is the one trapped and trying to ascend to enlightenment, and he is not getting it. He won't get it. He refuses. And that is part of why we broke up multiple times, and why I tried to get far away from him. And why I stayed gone until he made me come back because he missed me. He wanted me back. I can't deal with that energy. The energy around him is costing him a friend. And yet he cannot even see that. He doesn't support what I do. I, I can't stay in that situation. Why have I constantly reflected this multiple times, I probably am not getting it stuck in my head. Or there was still a lesson to be learned. I don't know. It's not really a rant, because it is reflection to know how far I have come versus where I was. That is very, very important. To know where you were, to know where you are going, to know your boot. And again, that is us very important to know 
who you were before this life, or multiple lives, because being star seeds, we have multiple lives that we lived through. We may not remember them all, but that is our job to remember our core, what we are, who we are. Maybe not a name, but there is still something to grasp on. He claimed to be from the stars a Nephilim, a half angel, half human. If he was supernatural, that is what I, he referred to be, half angel, half human. Except, um, and the vision and the voice in Nephilim is. I, 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 I know it's in that book, and yes, I cannot remember off the top of my head what it means to be. Um, I don't know. I can't remember. He claimed to be a neutral race, not really doing anything. A dark being. Not light. Not a Syrian starseed, nothing of that sort. Um, just a dark being. But even dark beings have light. You cannot be completely dark without having any light. That is practically impossible. Because dark is the opposite of light, and the four is part of the hermetic law, uh, laws of the universe, which is uh, polar opposites. Um, I can't think of the right name. I'm not going to Google it. Um, you can. It just means like hot is the same thing as cold. Cold is the same thing as hot. It's a temperature. Opposites, but basically at the core, the same thing. And he claims to be nothing but darkness. Not evil, but, but dark. I don't know where else to go with this. Um, I, I, I don't even know why I still, like, say... I think I am saying the same things multiple times in different videos. Maybe not exactly, but pretty much. I feel I have. Sometimes I do that. I don't know why. But, again, it is reflection, knowing how far I've come. And he prevented me from growing. He prevented me. He was an obstacle that I had to overcome. He refuses to... I, I don't even know anymore. It's just... I, I can't believe I put up with him for years. Why? It wasn't worth it. I wasted too much energy and too much time on him. Though, uh, basically, how much time? We never stopped speaking, like... Okay, and, and for a day, we, we would speak non-stop for like almost 24 hours. Until he went to bed, then when he gets up, then he... Not when he was driving, then when he gets to work, then... When he gets home, until he falls asleep. That's how much time we did... we spent. How much energy I spent non-stop talking to this person. We... why? I could do that with him? I have no flippin' idea. He just... 
Um, there were multiple conversations we had throughout the day. I, I don't know why we spent that much time on each other. It was kind of just stupid. Because we spoke every single day. There was no break. And yet, you never really got to miss the person. You never really felt that. To even see if you loved that person or not, because you never missed them. It, 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 it that, I don't know why that happened. He was the only person that I, well, not the only person, but I don't know why I spent that much time and energy and effort into him when it was not worth it to begin with. It it was stupid to continue. And that's why I say now that I am only done with him. I will not go back. Knowing what I know now, seeing what I see. Once again, it, I feel more at peace, getting that off my chest again. I can tell when I continue to reflect and to make these videos over and over and over again, that either I am not seeing a lesson, that I am not understanding a lesson, or he really affected me, and this is how I cry. Like, he really hurt me, and I am not over it yet. Maybe that is why I continue to reflect. I do not know. It's not ranting. I no longer feel anger. I just reflect constantly. I don't know why. I, I shouldn't. I'm over him, and yet I continue to reflect this. Why? I don't know. It is probably because I spent so much time and energy for years that it won't go away overnight. Yes, I have forgotten him. I forgot his voice. I forgot what he looks like. I am practically almost done about knowing his name. I forgot his last name. I am almost completely done forgetting his first name. Maybe it is him who is trying to reach out to me. Maybe that is why I continue to reflect, feeling his energy trying to reach out when he tries to imagine me in his mind to something I, I don't know. I have no idea. I wish I would stop. It is... Pointless to continue to reflect. It serves no purpose that I can see for now. Um, yeah, I don't know why I continue. I shouldn't. I have run out of things to say. And so, until we meet again, my friends.